touchdown finish. I'm proud to be a Philadelphia Eagle and play in front of the best fans in the world and I'm damn sure proud to play with the teammates that I have. So um, we're just excited for another opportunity ahead of us. You have a dream dinner party. You can gather six people. Who would those people be? Um, I'd invite um, Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, Muhammad Ali, Denzel Washington, Frankie Beverly, Barack Obama. They're all coming at your place. What are you serving them? A little bit of everything. We've got different, different people from different parts of the country, so we'll have a mixed, a mixed dinner. <laughs> mixed dinner, we have some soul food, some uh, Italian cuisine, uh, Cajun. Uh, I like I like boiled crawfish. It's my go-to. I've been able to watch my dad do it, my grandfather do it, and uh, with helping my father doing it as a kid, I've kind of learned to make it my own type of way. And my mom likes it. My uh, my grandmother loves it. So that's good enough for me. <laughs> my girlfriend loves it even more. <laughs> and if you're going to set the scene with music, what would you play? Probably some '80s, '90s R&B, '80s. Anita Baker, Al Green, Whitney Houston, Houdini, Frankie Beverly, I'll give him some love as he's there. Um, and I've met him a number of times and um, he's just a, a, great, a great person. With this group, what is the conversation you, you most want to have? I think um, just, just what their journey looked like and, and telling it from their eyes, right? You, you think about the names that I listed or named and everybody talks about them from their perspective, but what do they think? I think it's cool to be curious, seeing how their process works for them. Well, everybody has a unique way in preparation. I mean, I respect that with different people in the, in the crafts that they love. It's not gonna be no structured thing, anything like that. We're just gonna come in and vibe and enjoy ourselves.